1950, in a smoky office at Princeton, a young mathematician named John Nash quietly wrote an equation that would go on to haunt military generals, poker champions and even rival soap manufacturers. Yet its strangest twist wasn't about winning at all, but how sometimes the best move is to lose on purpose. Imagine two neighbouring villages in the Alps, each guarding a mountain pass. If both send all their soldiers to defend, they exhaust themselves in freezing snowstorms. If both stay home, the enemy sweeps through. But if one fights while the other rests, the resting one survives better despite doing nothing. This isn't about laziness. It's the paradox of mixed strategies where randomness itself becomes the sharpest sword. Let's try a mini experiment. Flip a coin right now. Heads you attack, tails you stay home. Your opponent, without knowing your choice, does the same. Over time, neither of you can settle into a pattern without becoming predictable, and predictability is the surest path to defeat. Here's the paradox. The more rational both sides are, the more irrational, deliberately unpredictable, they must become. This plays out in everything from Cold War nuclear deterrence to supermarkets deciding when to restock bread to dating apps where revealing too much honesty too soon drives people away. But here's the kicker. Add a third player, and alliances shift in ways so counterintuitive that in one real experiment with basketball teams, a weaker third team entering the league actually increased the championship odds of the weakest team from before. Why? In a triangle of competition, helping your enemy hurt a mutual rival can make you stronger. An echo of the ancient Chinese stratagem, ally with the distant, attack the near. Even business startups know this. Sometimes a tiny... Quirky competitor opens up a market that giants were too scared to touch, and suddenly the loser sets the rules. But this raises a darker question. If pure strategy demands abandoning pure logic, is the very act of trying to outthink the game itself the trap? Nash knew, in equilibrium, no one can do better by changing alone, yet the game may still produce a worse outcome for everyone. That's the heartbreak of the prisoner's dilemma, the thrill of the matching pennies game, and the uneasy truth that our best chances may lie in carefully orchestrated chaos. And trust me, the next paradox we'll uncover will make this one feel like child's play. So stick around, because you don't want to miss what's coming next.